For our opening prayer. Let us all remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good and gracious Father, we thank you for gathering us here again as we continue to delve into your word. We ask that this is Bible study, open our hearts and minds to Mary's role as Queen Mother and Mother of God. 
but these titles of her tell us about your son. May your will be done in us as we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it as was in the beginning, the beginning is now and ever and shall, shall be, world without end. end. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And amen. Good evening po sa lahat. Uh, we, we thank you all very much for joining us this evening. And most of all, we'd like to thank Father Tony for joining us and for blessing us with this opening and welcome remarks. We all welcome Father Tony. Father Tony, good evening po. Thank you, Kuya Rene. Good evening po para sa lahat. Welcome po <laughs> sa ating uh, uh, course na ito na journey through uh, through the scripture, no? Maganda Bible study natin, no? So I'm here in Tagaytay uh, for a two-day meeting uh, with our uh, social action directors uh, and uh, Caritas staff, no? Uh, ito ay nanggaling sa mga nine dioceses na tinamaan ng uh, Yolanda nine, ten years ago. So we are discussing about uh, how to commemorate you know, how to celebrate after 10 years the resilience and uh, community development that hap that's happening in uh, in uh, in that area you know, uh, of where the that uh, super ty typhoon uh, Yolanda hit you know, in uh, November 8 2013 okay so uh you know itong itong uh, lesson ngayon no uh kasi nag-focus ang ating Bible study on on the Bible and Mary na no? magandang ano eh magandang magandang course ito pero ang focus ngayon ay mother, uh, Mary as a mother you no know, crown in glory something like that no you know na naisip ko lang noon yung uh, para siguro sa mga kababaihan dito ngayon sa room, the highest title that uh, a woman can have uh, uh, in her life is to become a mother. Yes. Uh, wala Amen. lang ibang title yata na pwede mong sabihin sa isang uh, isang babae na siya ay isang nanay. What a beautiful title no, that we can we can give to to a woman no ang siya ang ating ina no and lalo na para kay Mama Mary she is not just an ordinary human mother she is a mother of the son of god what a title <laughs> a mother of a son of god yeah. uh, i i i remember uh, one mother no uh talking to me i think that was 2 months ago talagang pinagyayabang niya na uh, siya ay nanay ng isang pare wow pinagyayabang niya how and then how she takes care of the son kahit pare na kinukuwento niya na minsan pinapagalitan niya no <laughs> pare na yun ha? pero she is so proud telling me father Alam niyo uh, yan ang aking ano yan ang aking uh, uh, capital no yan ang pwede kong sabihin sa Dios na na ako ay nanay ng isang pare hindi <laughs> uh, ba yan yung ma 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 Yes, yes. In producing a person, now is dedicated to God. No? Yes, yes. It's, it's not easy. No, it's not easy. I think 
Ate Mila here can also ah. <laughs> She is the mother of the priest. <laughs> yes, yes. Diba? Father Maro. Thank you, Father. Uh, di ba yung being, be, ano, di ba yung kita na you're, 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 it's a pride, no? It's an honor, it's a privilege uh, to be to uh to be a mother no of a uh, of a person dedicated to God and because you have also a contribution to it yes yeah. and diba eh, malaking papel kasi ng nanay eh sa pagpalaki sa atin no uh, so mama mary as a mother of jesus masasabi natin uh, a highest title that uh, uh, the church can give her Uh, it's really sabihin siya ang mother of the son of god so sana uh, madalas natin nababanggit yan no uh, sa holy rosary sa angelus mababasa natin eh, no mga literatures natin pero sana dito sa pag-aaral ay eh, maramdaman natin no anong ibig sabihin ng being a mother and how proud we are No, kahit ang iba ngayon may tawag na kahit lalaki siya ay tatay at nanay. Family, <laughs> <laughs> 'di ba? Husband, husband. Husband, no. So maramdaman sana natin the value of uh, being a mother. Mama Mary is not just a mother of Jesus, the son of God. He she is also our mother. Can you imagine? And a mother is the one who takes care of us no uh, lalo na kung sa panahon ng kagipitan kasakitan in the midst of difficulty we always run to a mother we always uh, kapag nasaktan tayo we always shout we always cry for uh, to our mother no so that's how that's how uh, we value no uh, uh, a woman as a mother So tonight, no, sa pag-aaral na ito, sana makakatulong ito to appreciate more all our mothers, not only Mama Mary, so that uh, uh, we can also uh, continue to share that value uh, to our to all, uh, our families, no, the the role, the value of a mother in a family, in a, a Christian community, in the church. At sana si Mama Mary will serve as our inspiration. Uh, to uh, to bring continually Jesus to uh, the rest of the community. So magandang gabi, welcome ulit dito sa sa ating uh, lesson na ito uh, ngayong Friday. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank Marami you, Father. Maraming salamat. salamat po, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you po for that very very warm uh, welcome message. Ah, uh, po parang nalungkot ako bigla akong naalala yung nanay ko, Father. Ang ang nanay ko po Maria din ang ang, ang pangalan. Ah, uh, she was expected to be born March 19. Lumampas po siya naging March 20. And uh, they were expecting her to be a boy, kaya ang unang pangalan po Jose. Ano po yung <laughs> babae? Naging Maria na po. <laughs> naging Maria. <laughs> Yeah, uh, she passed away through cancer after my father passed away. So, na miss ko po siya, father. Uh, the, the, value, uh, the value of having a mother. Malaking bagay po talaga yan, father. Father, we thank you for that very warm message. Very personal, very warm. And again, we are blessed. Uh, na Needless to say, father, huwag naman ikala ikalalaki ng inyong puso. Dito po sa parokya, Father, kayo po ang nanay at tatay namin. <laughs> Kaya natay, kayo po ang natay namin dito sa parokya. Ayan. So uh, we can also even if he's in Tagaytay, he takes time to really join us for our weekly sessions. Father, maraming salamat po. And uh, we are blessed with your presence and support. Thank you, Father. Ingat po kayo sa Tagaytay, Father. Ingat dito po. rin eh. Yep. Can we take a picture po before ano? Ganun? Ayan, Father. Ang gira niya si Father. Pa-open po ng camera, everyone. Oh, Sorry na. Camera. Okay. Alright. Good, good. Kuya yeah. Dinky. Ang gira niya si Father. Ayan. In three, right. two, one. Smile, everyone. Yes. Ayan na po. Okay na po. Thank okay. you po. 
Thank you, Albert. Father, maraming salamat po muli. Thank you, Father Tony. All the best po sa inyong meeting at preparations. Congratulations po for your celebration. Congratulations po. Thank okay. you, Paul. Ayan. Alright. So, uh, ngayong gabi po, okay, uh, in this hour session, we are going to discuss about Mary's royal title a little further and then move to another of the Marian dogmas. Yan. No, napakahalaga po ng mga Marian dogmas natin. Yung pong, uh, ibang uh, brothers natin out of the, of the Catholic Church, wala po silang mga dogma. No? Kanya-kanya silang kapustuhan. Uh, Mary's status as mother of God. Kanina po nabanggit ni Father Tony, Mary as the mother of the Son of God. Tonight po, we will even go further no? by calling her Mary, the mother of God. Nung una ko pong narinig yun, parang ang hirap po, ang hirap po pong tanggapin. And hindi ko matanggap-tanggap. I was, I was having an internal debate within myself if it is proper to call her the mother of God. Uh, for a while po, I was scandalized. But later on, when I understood better, I saw that it was just proper and fit that Mary will be called the mother of God. For those of us who pray the rosary, this is a familiar title, ano po? Though perhaps we've never given it much thought. Yung po sinasabi ni Father Tony. Malamang, malimit na babanggit natin, pero ang tanong, ito ho ba'y ating nababatid ang talagang tunay na kahulugan at kahalagaan ng pagtawag natin kay Maria? Okay? Ayan. So ngayon ma, Uh, pakibigay mo sa ating mga participants kung ano ang tatalakayin natin ngayong gabi sa ating lesson 8. Uh, nasabi mo na lahat yung, ano, yung mga tatalakayin, yung tatlong tatalakayin. Ang hindi lang na-mention is yung about the apparition of okay. Our Lady of Nak. Nak, okay. as in Nak, Nak. Uh, Nak is, uh, ano, is a place in Ireland. Uh, bali, marami na tayong apparitions ni Mama Mary na 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 laman ano pero itong nak uh, apparition niya sa ano sa Our Lady of Knock kakaiba to kasi yung apparition niya kasama niya dito si Saint Joseph si Saint John at saka yung <coughs> ayan na Easy lang, easy lang, easy. <laughs> Kasama niya si St. Joseph, St. John, at saka yung uh, Jesus as the Paschal Lamb. That's Ayun. it, Pedro. Yeah, pakibanggit mo yung tatlong tema, ma, na tatalakayin pa rin natin. Yeah, yung Mary's royal title in the Gospels of Luke and John, the dogma of Mary as mother of God, and Holy Mary's title as Mother of God, protecting the humanity and divinity of Jesus. Yan. Yan po yung mga temang uh, tatalakayin natin. Uh, okay na yung boses mo, ma. Kuya Boots, yan, naririnig mo yung boses ni Baby, ah. <laughs> Papa. Okay. Makang much improved. Much improved na. Kuya, <laughs> kesa nung isang gabi, ano? <laughs> Alright. Okay. So uh, uh, in that regard, uh, ang ating pong mga scripture na tatalakayin ngayong gabi is from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 2, verse 1 until verse 12. Tapos po, the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 1, verse 31 to 33. And then uh, St. Luke chapter 1, verse 43. Yan. Uh, kanina po, tinawagan ako ni Baby, sabi niya, Dad, ano itong ginawa mo? Ba't ka nagpadala ng mga questions sa kanila? <laughs> uh, ang nilagay ko po naman sa pinadala ko sa inyo, leakage, ano po? Yan, nagpadala ko ng leakage sa inyo, meaning the, the questions that we will be looking at for our review, ano po? Para meron lang po kayong primer. Uh, review question number one, what are some details in the Gospels that point to Mary being the Queen Mother. Yan. Mas mainam na po yung may leakage para mapaghandaan natin yung ating tatalakayin sa ating video. Uh, question number two po. Ano po? Uh, what was the first official Marian dogma defined by the Church? 
Yan diyan po na susubukan ng ating mga ang ating pagiging Katoliko o Katolika. Ano po? What was the first official Marian dogma defined by the church? Question number three. What scriptural precedent is there for the title Mother of God? Yan. Matutunghayin din natin pamaya-maya sa ating video. Okay. And then question number five. Where and how was that controversy settled? Yan. Meron pong kontrobersiya. Yung title na Mother of God, kagaya po nabanggit ko kanina. Ang tanong po, saan at papano itong controversy na ito ay nasettle? Ayun po. Yun po yung ating mga review questions. Ngayon po, paghandan na rin natin, ang ating pong discussion guide question is, ano po, uh, how does recognizing that Mary is the Queen Mother of her son, son's kingdom, change our understanding of how we can relate to her. Ulitin ko po. Ano? Although kasama na sa, sa invite ko kanina. Ang tanong po, how does recognizing that Mary is the queen mother of her son's kingdom change our understanding of how we can relate to her? Yan. Yung po, yung po yung mga review questions and discussion guide questions that we will have. Uh, sana po you're ready with your pens and the notepads and with your Bibles. Ano po? And let us now enjoy the video on Mary, all right, the Queen Mother. Yan. Uh, give me a few seconds po. Aayusin ko lang yung aking video. Si Kuya Ronaldo Mahabol. Uh, saglit lang po. Okay. Enjoy the video po. We'll see you in a short while. People of Ireland's County Mayo had much to suffer in the middle years of the 19th century. Famine followed upon famine, leading to widespread economic hardship, displacement, eviction, homelessness, and immigration. The Irish people kept the faith in spite of the anti-Catholic pressures of their British overlords. 1879 was a particularly difficult year. The famine that year was reminding many old-timers of the infamous famine of the late 1840s. On the evening of August 21st in 1879, two women, both named Mary, were walking home in the rain as they passed their parish church of St. John the Baptist. Though it was raining, they stopped in their tracks because of what they saw. There, standing in the air at the south wall of the church, was a woman they immediately knew to be the Blessed Virgin Mary. She was accompanied by two other figures, whom they identified as St. Joseph and the Apostle St. John. Beside John stood an altar, and on the altar stood a lamb, which the visionaries understood as a representation of Jesus, the Lamb of God. Angels were visible in the air around the saints. Though it was raining hard, the two Marys stood watching, and they summoned passerbys too to join them. Before long, there was a small crowd gathered, including women and men, teenagers, small children, even elderly people. And they all saw the same vision bathed in white light. The Blessed Virgin wore a gold crown and a white gown. One of the visionaries went forward to kiss her feet, but felt nothing but the wall. Those who witnessed the apparition stood in the pouring rain for two hours reciting the rosary. The ground beneath their feet turned to mud. Yet the ground around the figures remained completely dry throughout the apparition. 
There were no words, no messages associated with the vision at Nock, only the constancy of the image. It was as if heaven opened itself up to a suffering people, just as we see in the New Testament book of Revelation. There was heaven's altar. There was the Lamb of God. There was the Queen of Heaven attended by angels. In the aftermath of the vision, many people in the area claimed to have experienced miraculous cures from debilitating illnesses. The word went abroad, and reporters soon arrived from newspapers across the globe. The local bishop launched an investigation and identified 15 people as eyewitnesses. After gathering their testimony, the bishop judged it to be trustworthy. Devotion spread quickly. People traveled to knock looking for miracles, and many left tokens of their cure. Crutches or canes or eye patches. Over time, it became customary for every diocese in Ireland to sponsor an annual pilgrimage to knock. And in 1979, Pope St. John Paul II made a pilgrimage to Nock too. He celebrated Mass there and prayed at the apparition wall. In the vision of Nock, ordinary Christians saw what John the Seer beheld in his vision while still in exile on Patmos. They saw that Christ is present among his people at the altar in every Mass. They saw that the saints looked after their brethren still living on earth. They saw the angels who beheld the face of God even as they ministered to his people on earth. They looked into the eyes of a loving mother, a mother who is omnipotent in her intercession. Even if there were no words spoken at Nock, still the message resounds loud and clear. Welcome back to the Bible and the Virgin Mary. Last time we began our discussion of Mary's role as the Queen Mother, how she was foreshadowed by the great Gabira, the Queen Mothers of the Davidic Kingdom, who advised their royal sons. She also acted as intercessor for the people, so she brought their needs before the king. Now we focused a lot on the Davidic Kingdom because it's key to understanding the Kingdom of Christ. Remember, Jesus is identified as the Son of David, so he's the heir to the throne, which means that Mary is the Queen Mother in the New Kingdom established by Christ. And St. Matthew picks up this idea of a royal mother in the second chapter of his Gospel. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who will govern my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. When they had heard the king, they went their way, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came to rest over the place. They saw the angels who beheld the face of God, even as they ministered to his people on earth. They sorry, Paul. Sorry. Sorry, Paul. Luke shows us someone else recognizing Mary as the Queen Mother. 
Elizabeth. And why is this granted me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Dito, that the screen is not yet shared po. Lord. Sorry? Hindi pa po nakashare yung screen. Sorry po, sorry. Thank you po. Sorry, Paul. Sorry. Lord is full of queenly significance. In ancient Israel, the king was addressed as my Lord, which would make the queen mother the mother of my Lord. So by using that title in her address of Mary, Elizabeth recognizes her as the new queen mother. Our final glimpse of the queen mother in the Bible comes in the passage we read at the beginning of the last lesson, the famous symbolic vision of a woman in the book of Revelation. Many of the symbols in that book, of course, can be hard to interpret. And over the years, there have been various interpretations of just who exactly that woman clothed with the sun is. Well, in the Catholic understanding, the woman represents Mary, as well as Israel and the church. Signs and symbols, because they're signs and symbols and not literal representations, are allowed to mean more than one thing. But because this study is on Mary, we're going to focus on that particular meaning of this woman clothed with the sun. So, why does the church ascribe the meaning of that symbol to Mary? Well, for starters, the great sign is a woman giving birth. That recalls Isaiah's prophecy that the sign of the kingdom's restoration would be a woman giving birth. Likewise, the child to be born is described as one who will rule all the nations with a rod of iron which is exactly how the Messiah is described in Psalm 2, 7 to 9. In Revelation, the woman clothed with the sun wears a crown of 12 stars. Now those stars are another symbol. They represent both the 12 tribes of Israel and the 12 apostles. And in the Old Testament, not surprisingly, the queen mother wore a crown. Jeremiah 13, 18 tells us as much. Say to the king and the queen mother, take a lowly seat or your beautiful crown has come down from your head. Revelation shows us the Queen Mother. She's enthroned in heaven with her son, the King, the perfect fulfillment of the promise of the restored kingdom. Revelation shows us Mary, crowned and enthroned as Queen Mother. And that enthronement no more detracts from her sons, the King's glory, than the enthronement of the Queen Mother in ancient Israel detracted from the glory of Israel's kings. In fact, it's just the opposite. It's because the king is glorious that his mother is also glorious. Her glory is a participation in his glory. She's honored as a way of honoring him. The image of Mary as queen mother is directly related to two of the church's most important teachings about Mary. The New Testament writer's understanding of Mary as the queen mother in the restored and transformed Davidic kingdom shaped the way the early church understood Mary's role in salvation history. In turn, their understanding formed the church's official teachings about Mary. In our last two sessions, we'll explore the relationship of this image to the doctrine of Mary's assumption and coronation as Queen of Heaven, as well as to Marian devotion. We're going to conclude this session, however, by focusing on the title's connection to the first official Marian dogma defined by the church, Mary's status as Mother of God. Of all Mary's many titles, that one, Mother of God, well, it might be the one we use the most. After all, every time you pray a rosary, you say it at least 50 times. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Every time we pray that prayer, we echo the words of Elizabeth at the visitation in Luke chapter 1. Recall how she greeted Mary with the queenly title, Mother of my Lord. Now, that essentially means the same thing as Mother of God. The Greek word for the title is Theotokos, which literally means God-bearer. That title, Mother of God, is not only the most commonly used of Mary's titles, it's also one of the oldest. We can find examples of Christians using it in the very first centuries of the church. The early church fathers, including St. Clement of Alexandria, Origen, and St. Alexander, all called Mary Mother of God, or the equivalent, Mother of my Lord. The title also appears in one of the oldest known Christian prayers, the Subtuum. Prayed by Egyptian Christians, 
This prayer dates at the absolute latest to 250 AD, and it's probably a whole lot older than that. Now that prayer, which will sound familiar to a lot of you, goes like this. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever-glorious and blessed Virgin. So we see that the first Christians called Mary the Mother of God without any hesitation. After all, there was scriptural precedent, the words of Elizabeth. Also, it just seemed the logical thing to do. If Jesus was God and Mary was his mother, then that made her the mother of God. That sort of logic depends on a principle called the communication of idioms. According to that principle, whatever one says about either of Christ's two natures can be said about Christ himself. That's because his two natures, the divine nature and the human nature, were united in him. He's one divine person. So even though the Trinity is eternal, with no beginning and no end, we can still say that God the Son was born in Bethlehem and died on the cross at Calvary. Now, for hundreds of years, no one said as much as boo about calling Mary the mother of God. But in the fifth century, that began to change. Some people back then raised the same objections that some anti-Catholics raise today. They argued that the title mother of God implied that Mary was the originator of God. Those objectors said that they could accept the title mother of Christ, but not mother of God. Now, at the heart of those objections was another objection. It was an objection to the unity of Christ's two natures. Mary, they claimed, gave birth only to Christ's human nature, not his divine nature. Well, the church, led by Pope Celestine I and St. Cyril of Alexandria, vigorously disagreed. As St. Cyril pointed out, a mother gives birth to a person, not a nature. Accordingly, Mary gave birth to Jesus Christ, who was and is a divine person. Although Mary did not originate or generate God, she certainly did bear him in her womb and give birth to him. She was God's mother. The controversy over Mary's title as mother of God was addressed in 431 AD at the Council of Ephesus. The council was actually called by Pope Celestine I to settle this whole mother of God debate. Now, it might seem a little strange to us to call this big ecumenical council and ask of the bishops of the ancient world to make a perilous journey across land and sea just to settle a simple question about whether or not Christians could call Mary the mother of God. But again, there's a whole lot more at stake than just Mary's title. The Christian teaching about Christ's two natures, that was the real issue. And the church wanted to settle once and for all the question that was raging across the ancient world. Was Jesus one or two persons? Now, the idea that Jesus was both a human person and a divine person was being taught by a man named Nestorius, and his teachings were leading many people astray. The Council of Ephesus roundly rejected Nestorius's teachings and confirmed the ancient teaching of the church. They declared that Jesus is one divine person with two natures. He's got his mother's human nature and his father's divine nature. Mary didn't give Jesus his divine nature or his divine personhood, those he possessed from all eternity as the only begotten Son of the Father. But she also didn't just give him his flesh. She gave birth to the whole person. She gave birth to Jesus Christ, both God and man. And of course, that's what we confess every time we say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary. Now let's be honest. None of us would think much of a mother who wouldn't do everything in her power to protect her child. That's part of what it means to be a mother. Well, on a supernatural level, that's what Mary is doing for her son, Jesus, by possessing the title Mother of God. She's protecting her son, or at least protecting the truth about her son. To reiterate what we talked about in an earlier lesson, every truth about Mary says more about Jesus than it does about her. Just as Mary's virginity reinforced that Jesus was both human and divine, so too does Mary's title, Mother of God, reinforce that Jesus is one divine person with two natures. 
He was one man, not two. He was not a human person who received divine guidance. He wasn't a divine person who took on the appearance of a man. He didn't slap on some kind of a human suit over his divinity. He was one person born of a woman who possessed two natures. He's all God and all man. That's why the title Mother of God is so important. And that's why we're in no way taking any honor away from Christ when we use it. Nor are we making any claims that Mary is greater than Christ or that somehow she's the originator of God. We're simply stating a truth that must be stated in order to protect an essential truth about Jesus Christ. And in a similar way, that's what all of Mary's queenly predecessors did for their sons. If you recall, one of the three essential tasks of the Queen Mother was to be a sign of her son's legitimacy. So she was the link between his father, the former rightful king, and her son, the present rightful king. Likewise, Mary as the virginal mother of God is the link between her son's humanity and divinity. She's the sign that he's both God and man, the long-awaited son of David who can rule over a kingdom that's heavenly, not earthly, that is everlasting, not temporal. In our last couple of sessions, we'll explore the implications of Mary as the Queen Mother in even more depth and see how it forms part of the foundation for Catholic devotion to Mary. Before we can do that, however, there's one more dimension to the biblical portrait of Mary we've still got to flesh out. We need to examine Mary as the all-holy Mother of God, who was conceived without sin. In other words, we're going to talk about the Immaculate Conception, perhaps the most misunderstood and certainly one of the most contested of the Marian dogmas. And I'm betting you're going to hear some things that surprise you. Until then, God bless you. Okay, you might want to turn your videos on now. Yeah, okay. Uh, Ma, are you ready with our review questions? Yeah, oo, pero kahit may cage na, iaan ko pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, yung number one question natin is, what are some details in the Gospels that point to Mary being the Queen Mother o sa Tagalog, ano yung mga bagay-bagay o mga pangyayari na itinukoy na sa ating gospel na nagsasabi na si Mama Mary ay isang uh, inang reyna? Okay. Would anyone start the ball rolling? Uh, Ate Christine, baka hindi ko nakikita yung mga nakataas ang kamay. Eh. Wala pa naman po, Tito. Wala pa. Wala pa. Apo. Oh, okay. Baka si Kuya Dinky gusto mo. Nahihiya pa ba? Nahihiya pa. <laughs> Go, Kuya Dinky. <laughs> okay. Would anyone want to share? Uh... Ayan si Kuya Butch. Oh, Kuya Butch. Okay, why not? Uh, when Elizabeth called her the mother of my Lord. So yeah. that is the tale that he, she is the queen mother. Okay, right. Point number one. Yeah, point number two coming. Oh, kanina po galing yung point number two. Si, si Ate po... Dang. Nag-raise na nga si Ate Dang. Ate Dang, you're raising a hand. Ay, Ate Dang, nakamute ka po. Ay? Ate Dang, nakamute ka. Wala. Wala. Sorry. Sorry. Ay, Parang po ng si, ano, si, ano, si Ate Nen po. Si Sis Nen. Okay. Ate Nen. Like web. Yung... Okay. Uh, yun po, ano, uh, sa Revelations, when yeah, nung sinabi po na ano, dun sa uh, about uh, a woman will bear uh, a, woman, a woman from the south uh, okay. will bear something. 
minsan parang ano yun po yung ano yung uh, the question po dun sa details in the gospel so yun nasa revelations po okay queen of the sun yun po thank you Atene thank you yes. All right. two points another point coming anyone else ako okay <laughs> Sige, sige. Nag-engage ka naman eh. Nung ano, nung annunciation, di ba yung Angel Gabriel mismo ang nagsabi na ano, uh, Mama Mary is going to be the mother of God. Right, right. Okay. O sige ma, why don't we give them the answer to the first review question? Si kaya ba ma? Kaya ba? Ikaw na lang dad. Nahihirapan ka ba? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, sige. Oh, ako, ako daw muna. Okay. Uh, question number one. Uh, what are some details in the Gospels that point to Mary being the Queen Mother? Yan. Yung pong una. Uh, the Magi who traveled to see the newborn king of the Jews and find the child with Mary, his mother. So Mary is at her son's side just like the queen mothers of old were at their sons' sides. Yeah. The visitors come with gifts like visitors to Solomon's court would have done. Pangalawa, at the Annunciation, the angel Gabriel tells Mary that she will give birth to a royal son who will rule from the throne of David. In saying that, he basically says, he is addressing the new queen mother of the new Davidic kingdom. Yeah, and, and then uh, Luke also shows Elizabeth <coughs> calling Mary the mother of my Lord, which is significant because the king in ancient Israel was addressed as my Lord, which would make the queen mother the mother of my Lord. Yeah. Okay. Uh, question number two. Uh, ako na po magtatanong at uh, medyo inuubo pa si baby. Question number two. What was the first official Marian dogma defined by the church? Yan. Ano po ang pinakaunang official Marian dogma that was defined by the church? Sige nga po. Oy, si Ate Christine, nakataas ang kamay. Huwag na gusto ng leaking sito ah. Oh. Nag-research po ako. <laughs> ah, nag-research ka na? Oh. <laughs> the first Marian dogma po is yung divine maternity of Mama Mary. Bali yung mad, uh, Mama Mary as mother of God po. Right. So yung pong ating sagot, uh, Mary's status as mother of God in Greek, Theotokos, uh, Theotokos, alright, yung po yung uh, unang official Marian dogma. Yan. May, okay po pala yung nagpapadala ng leakage. Ano, ha? Nakakapag-research po kayo beforehand. I think I'll do that again. Sinubukan ko lang po yung may leakage. Eh. Bukang maganda yata yung may leakage. Okay. Alright. So we go to uh, review question number three. What scriptural precedent is there for the type of mother of God? Yan. What scriptural precedent is there for the title, Mother of God. Yan. Sino pong gusto sumagot? Anybody? Oh, mukhang, mukhang tahimik sila. Ate Christine, ano ha? Okay. Alright. So, here is the answer po. Okay. Anong scriptural precedent is there for the title, Mother of God? Ang sagot po. The visitation recorded in Luke chapter 1 verse 43 when Elizabeth greeted Mary with the queenly title mother of my lord yan yun ang president no so as early as that uh, meron na pong uh, pagpapahayag ano ha uh, through Elizabeth question number 4 yan what controversy in the early church was behind the debate over Mary's title, Mother of God. What controversy in the early church was behind the debate over Mary's title, Mother of God? Yan. 
Sino po gusto sumagot? Anyone? Kala ko si Kuya Butz yung kataas ng kamay. O Ate Christine ulit. Yeah, Tito rin eh. Yun po ba yung yeah. ano, yung dun po sa nung 431 AD sa Council of Ephesus? Yung controversy yeah, is... over Mary uh, Mary's title as Mother of God po. Yan. Yeah. Kung naman eh, tinutuhong mo kagad eh. Yun ang sagot sa number 5 eh. Alright. Uh, ano na siya, no? Tugman-tugman naman. Kasi yun sa number 4, ang controversy in the early church that was behind the debate over Mary's title was of Mother of God, the controversy over over the unity of the two natures, human and divine of Christ, was Jesus one person or two? Yun ang controversy, yeah. And then, ito yung in-address, no? question number five, where and how was the controversy settled? Ang sagot, it was settled at the Council of Ephesus in 431 A.D., The council declared that Jesus is one divine person with two natures. Okay? So please tandaan po natin yan. Ano, ano? Uh, this is where the magisterium comes in or the official teaching of the church. no? Uh, teaching office of the church. Doon po nanggagaling ito. The council declared that Jesus is one divine person with two natures. By saying that Mary is the mother of God, the church reinforced the truth. While she did not originate or generate God, Mary gave birth to a divine person who is both God and man. Yan. Jesus has his mother's human nature and his father's divine nature. Yan po. Napakalinaw. Ano po? Napakalinaw. Okay. Now we are going to our discussion question ano po, for our small group breakout. Okay. Ang tanong po natin would be, kagaya po doon sa ating uh, uh, leakage, question po, how does recognizing that Mary is the queen mother of her son's kingdom change our understanding of how we can relate to her? Ulitin ko po. How does recognizing that Mary is the queen mother of her son's kingdom change our understanding of how we can relate to her? Yan. Uh, bigyan natin ng two minutes sa uh, Ate Christine uh, for their for their answers. Pakisulat po po sa And then we'll try to uh, read them as our sharing in the small group discussion. Okay, two minutes is starting now. Rinig po ba, Tito? Sorry, hindi pa. Meron na ba? Mahina pa, ate. Ate Christine, medyo mahina. Nakamute ka eh. Sorry po. I'll share po may ano, computer sound na lang po. Sorry. Okay. It's eight o'clock.
Okay. Yan. Na, nakapagsulat na po tayo. All right. Okay. So, uh, let us now go into our small group breakouts. Uh, Ate Christine, uh, Bro Edric. All right. Let's, let's have 20 minutes for our small group sharing. All right. Andito na po. All right. So, uh, may we request uh, a volunteer or two uh, to share with the plenary group yung senior ninyo do sa small group ninyo na sa tingin nyo eh, mas makaka-inspire no? do sa ating devotion kay Mother Mary. Would anyone want to share? You don't have to share the sharing of your group mates. Ano? Yung sharing nyo lang mismo. Would anyone want to? Pagka wala po nag-volunteer, ako pa mag-volunteer. <laughs> oh, Ate Christine, you're raising a hand. Okay. Sige po, mauna na po ako. <laughs> okay. Ano po? Um, actually po yung uh, answer ko, may kaparehas po ako na ganun din po yung answer. Same po kami na para sa amin, nothing has changed. Kasi ever since naman po, we recognize Mama Mary as mother and queen mother. Uh, uh, to, the, to add lang din po, yung sinabi ko nga rin po na kung uh, pakikinggan po natin yung opening song natin kanina, di ba sabi po doon sa uh, chorus part kay Kristong Kuya Ko. And that if Jesus is the son of God, we are all sons and daughters of God, then Mama Mary is our mother po. And uh, dun din sa ano, idagdag lang din po natin dun sa ano, nasabi din ng isang kasama ko nga din kanina na uh, kung, kung ano nga daw po, uh, inihabilin ni Jesus si Mama Mary kay St. John and if uh, St. John can be represented as uh, the world or yung, yung humanity, then ibig sabihin, mother nga natin po si ano, Mama Mary. Yun. Thank you. Thank you for the sharing, Ate Christine. Okay. Any more volunteers? Yeah. Kung wala pong volunteers, pwede ako mag-volunturo. Uh, medyo tinamaan po kanina, natatsak pa rin sa sharing eh. Okay, Kuya EJ, pwedeng paki-share yung senior mo kanina kay Kuya Dinky. Kuya EJ. Mas uh, uh, during sharing uh, na na-reinforce sa akin yung binanggit ni Kuya Dinky na ano, kumbaga ato na to ah uh, Iba din yung, uh, i- i- nung nabanggit niya yung iba ang, ang nagagawa ng nanay. No? So, nag-trigger yun sa akin na naisip na, oo, not just being different or special, but uh, yung essential role ni Mama Mary sa, uh, sa ating personal relationship sa Diyos. Uh, yung kagaya ng mga nanay, ng nanay sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay how how yung minsan may hihingin tayo sa tatay na hindi natin magawa na nakakatulong ang duman na dumalapit tayo sa nanay kaya sabi ko talagang talagang plano ng ng Diyos Ama na to help us come to him not only giving us his only son, but giving us also a mother to come to his son. Kaya the more, and then yung dimension na at, at, after that personal relationship, uh, yung, yung dimension na the building of God's kingdom. Kaya na, napaka uh, parang goosebumps sa akin yun. Kasi when, when we talk of tayong ng mga nasa ministry na we're trying to do things na ang laking bagay to be aware that Mama Mary is behind us talagang sobrang sobrang grasya ng Diyos na when we're doing things oh 
Ah, uh, hindi ba kumisan kung oh, may ginagawa ka na hirapan ka ipadala ko sa iyo assistant ko? Hindi. Papadala ko sa iyo. Nandiyan ang nanay ko para yung gagawin mo ay siguradong makakarating sa anak kong si Jesus, makakarating sa akin. With that kind of uh, experience assurance, it's uh, I, mean, I can only say thank you Father talaga. Salamat, salamat sa Dios. At uh, Thank you for blessing all of us. Thank you for this Bible study to be to be more aware of that. Na parang, eh, bukas ikukwento ko to sa mga kasamahan ko. Uy, di ba pat join na in the midst of the things that you're doing? Ayun, na, uy, always call on Mama Mary kasi talagang kaya niya, kaya binigay ng Diyos sa atin si Mama Mary in her role as not only as a mother but the queen mother in the whose whose very purpose is building the kingdom of his son and yeah. thank wow. you father thank you <laughs> uh, thank you kuya EJ yeah no very simple very straightforward very inspiring din na sharing okay any more volunteer isa na lang po lalakad na okay si baby ng tataas ng kamay Um, paki-unmute ma, paki-unmute muna. Yan, hindi siya na yung mag-unmute. <laughs> Kahit na nahihirapan ako magsalita, hindi ako pwedeng mapigitan na magsalita about Mama Mary. Kasi, uh, ikaw kasi dad eh, umpisa pa lang, ano na eh, parang dinadramahan mo na agad dahil sinasabi mo na <laughs> na may miss mo ang nanay mo. Eh, kumbaga parang, hindi ba napaka ano napakalapit sa puso nating lahat ang salitang nanay so napakaswerte nga na mga nandito ngayon na meron pang nanay na pwede pa ninyong ipakita ipa, ipadama sa kanila ang inyong pagmamahal pero kasi kami po matagal na po na ulila sa ina kaya uh, yung uh, pag pinag-uusapan talaga yung salitang nanay, eh medyo nakaka-touch talaga sa puso. Ang hindi ko lang po makakalimutan kasi, ang nanay ko po ang nagpakilala sa akin kay Mama Mary. Batang maliit pa lang ako, yakag-yakag na ako hanggang doon sa Baklaran Church, tangay-tangay niya ako pag walang pasok sa school. So, uh, nakilala ko na si Mama Mary maliit pa ako and Uh, I think some of you may even know this na kahit kung hindi pa ho kami magkakilala ni Rene, ang sabi po ng nanay sa akin, ngayon pa lang ipagdasal mo na ang magiging asawa mo kung sino ang magiging asawa mo. So kumbaga, hindi pa kami magkakilala, pinagdadasal ko na si Rene. Yun, ganun po. Dahil yun ang gili ng, ng nanay ko sa akin. Eh, Sinagot naman siguro ako ni Mama Mary kasi napakabait naman po nung binigay niya sa aking asawa. Kaya yun din po ang binilin ko sa, <laughs> sa anak kong babae na uh, make sure na yung mapapangasawa mo ay may pagmamahal kay Mama Mary. Kasi kumbaga parang... Uh, ewan ko, parang naging, ano, naging pantayan ko rin yun eh ng ano ng isang lalaki kung mahal niya yung kung gano'n niya kamahal yung nanay niya. So, yun lang po. Uh, at hanggang ngayon po, na matanda na ako, hindi pa rin po nawawala ang mga milagrong ibinibigay sa akin ni Mama Mary sa araw-araw. Malaki, maliit, lahat yan halo-halo na hindi po natatapos at lubos-lubos, walang katapusan. Thank you po. Yun lang po. Wow. I love you. <laughs> John. <laughs> okay pala pag mag- magkahiwalay tayo ng ganito. <laughs> Ngayon lang po. Mimiss mo ako, ganun. <laughs> o, oh, namimiss kita eh. Hindi ko narinig hininga mo, kaya namimiss kita. Okay. Bihira po kami. Ngayon pala po kami naghiwalay ng ganito. Ang hirap pala. Okay. Hindi kami sanay. <laughs> okay. So, Uh, any more would like to share? Okay, siya Ate Dang. Ate Dang, paki-admit muna Ate Dang. Naiyak ako. 
Ito na ba? Namatay yung mama ko kasi wala ako. Kasi dito ako sa Manila. Nandun sila sa probinsya. Um, so, well, matanda na siya. She was 83 years old when she died. Um, while, ano, uh, papalapit na siyang lagutan ng hininga. Uh, palagi nila akong kinakontak na naghinga loon na daw. And then, matagal siyang talagang umalis kasi hinihintay ako no, that time. Pero, I have my other commitment kasi dito kasi yung aking pamangkin ay kailangan kong kasi nag, nag-bed rest, nag-bleeding, so hindi ko mai- maiwanan. So, parang I was Uh, nandun ako sa torn between two lovers na sitwasyon. So, yun yung parang nakaka-relate ako dun sa sinabi ni Ate Baby at ni Kuya Rinin na yung nanay kailangan habang buhay pa kailangan mong bigyan ng halaga. No? Kasi kung wala na, wala na talaga. About naman doon sa pinag-usapan natin, yung na, naalala ko lang no, yung yung palabas na The Passion of Jesus. Nakikita ko yung how Mary as a mother to Jesus nung natumba si Jesus na nag-carry ng cross. Na gra- didi-depict doon how Mary reacts seeing her son na na anuhan siya ng cross. Grabe yung sa tingin ko as mother sobrang sakit. Very helpless siya. Wala siyang magawa. Nakatigin lang siya na as a mother ang isang pinaka-role niya is to protect her son. Pero that time wala siyang magawa. No? Sa akin. Na, sa aking sarili din as mother nakaka-relate ako na naala na na, na, na naisip ko oo nga pala instinct pala sa nanay pala iyon na titingnan palagi yung kaayusan ng anak na ako nga nga sa ngayon wala noong hindi pa ako nag-asawa at wala akong anak wala akong pakialam wala akong pakialam sa anak ko ay kung, kung ano bang mangyari din sa mga 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 bata na hindi ko anak pero nung nagkaanak ako totoo pala yung sinasabi na kakainin mo na isusubo mo na ibigay mo sa anak yung ganon. siguro ganon din yung nagiging life ni Mama Mary na nung maliit pa si Jesus nung natumba Gadagad niyang, gadagad siyang tumakbo. Kinuha niya si Jesus. Tinatanong niya. Okay lang siya. Na, nung time na, na nag-carry si Jesus ng cross, nakita niya yun. Sobrang sakit. Pag din siguro, naintindihan ko, na ang isang nakaka-relate ako, yung how a mother protects their children. Yung ganun. <laughs> yun yung isa sa school ng mother. Wow. Na naramdaman ko as mother. Na hindi lang pala, hindi lang pala basta-basta ilabas mo yung anak mo at pabayaan mo. Pero nandoon para yung responsibility na nakaakibat doon. Na hindi lang basta-basta kundi napakabigat na responsibility kong titignan. Kung talagang uh, nililive out mo, nililive out ko yung role ko as a mother. Kano? Yun lang. Wow. Thank you, Ate Dang. Thank you for your sharing. Okay. Ate Nen, you're raising a hand, Ate Nen. Kindly unmute. Yan. Opo. Bali, magkasama po kami ni Kuya Mon. Uh, 
dun sa share yung kanin, sa group po, sa group share yung kanin. And um, pareho po kami ng, ano, ng, uh, ng insight about Mama Mary as our intercessor sa, sa lahat ng prayers, sa lahat ng uh, pagtalinga. Ngayon, uh, na-amaze, na-amaze lang po ako. Although meron, medyo nahirapan kami kanina kasi yung ano tawag dito, nag-chapi-chapi kami. Pero it took, uh, it took a while na ang ganda po ng sharing ni Kuya Mon kasi he came from a Protestant family, sabi ni Kuya Mon. But uh, ang, ang naging pundasyon niya po sa kanyang pagkakatoliko is Mama Mary. So... Uh, knowing a family, parang yung father niya po yata is a Protestant and the mother is <coughs> is Catholic, hindi din, uh, kumbaga hindi madali, pero uh, it took it took them a while for, ano, for um, na, na i-live out yung pagiging uh, katoliko niya through Mama Mary. At saka, uh, tulad po ni Kuya Mon, naging um, naging ano din po sa kanya um, tawag dito uh, pinanghawakan niya yung kay yung sa Our Lady of Guadalupe yung nabanggit niya kanina nung sinabi ni Mama Mary kay Juan Diego na am I not your mother so very vivid po sa kanya yon na bakit nga naman tayo mag-aalala kasi Mama Mary is the mother of all yon at saka at saka isa pa pong ano isa pa pong um, uh, magandang bagay sa akin lang po for for me personally Uh, malaking bahagi po ng buhay ko si Mama Mary since katulad ng ng uh, ni Ate Baby at all the rest of us na alam ko mga Marian uh, Marian followers Marian believers um uh, sa maliliit kasi parang hindi po ba minsan may mga bagay na akala mo hindi blessing lalo na kapag nagpo-pray ka but when you pray uh, lalo na kung pinadadaan mo through the rosary umaga pa lang meron ka ng, may, 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 may message ka ng receive na ito ang gagawin mo, ito ang mas makabubuti sa iyo. Kaya nga sabi ko, sabi ko, ah, Mama Mary, kaya siguro maraming dumadating ng mga trials at saka pagsubok kasi alam kong nandyan ka to help me out. Kasi if not for, uh, before, syempre, nanay ko when she was around, when she was still uh, with us, lagi siyang tumatawag para bang, Uh, o oh, nini, kumusta ka na? Ano na, kumusta na kayo? Mga bata, ganyan-ganyan. Ngayon, every morning po yan, uh, when she was still, uh, ano, malakas pa siya, nung nakakausap pa namin siya. Pero syempre, nung nawala siya, para bang yung, yung voice, yung, yung naririnig ko sa araw-araw, yung, yung voice ni Mama Mary of telling me, how are you? You are with, uh, uh, I, I am with you. Uh, you will be okay sa, sa, mga, sa mga dadating sa buhay mo. Maliit o malaki, kasama mo ako, ipapanalangin kita papunta kay Jesus. So, um, Mama Mary is the great intercessor. Mama Mary is talagang malaking uh, bahagi ng, ng, ng buhay ko. Kasi yung life ko, dalaga pa ako, uh, bata pa ako, katulad nga ni Ate Baby, andyan na si Mama Mary, nakilala ko na siya. Kaya katulad ni Kuya Mon, si Mama Mary, pundasyon niya sa kanyang pagiging katoliko. Sa akin naman, uh, pundasyon ko si Mama Mary bilang nanay at saka bilang bilang tagasunod ni Jesus Christ. Yun po. End of sharing. Salamat po. Dadagdagan din <clears throat> ni Daddy. Dagdagan ko lang po yeah. yung ano, yung uh, sharing na. Uh, may may meeting tayo ko here na before na parang pina may about uh, Mama Mary din eh. Uh, parang pina pina dali mo yung uh, explanation na di ba pagka meron tayong inihingi sa mga magulang natin lalo na sa ama pinadadaan lagi natin sa ating ina na parang ginagawa natin kay Mama Mary na lahat ng prayers natin is pinadadaan natin sa intercession ni Mama Mary then susundan ko na rin po yung sinabi ni Ate Baby na masarap sana na habang nandiyan pa yung mga magulang natin is sa uh, bigyan natin ng pagkakataon na yun ang oras ba. Dahil uh, alam niya naman po, nakawawala lang ng mami ko. Uh, ngayon ko nare-realize yung, yung kawalan niya. Na lagi kong, lalo na pagka nagpupunta ako sa amin, naalala, naalala ko siya. Although, nagkaroon kami ng misunderstanding before, pero 
sa huli naman pong pagkakataon is uh, na ibigay ko yung 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 serbisyo ko sa kanya kahit na may sama ako ng loob sa kanya pero ngayon ngayon ko na ngayon ko na realize yung kawalan niya kaya yung mga pong meron pang mga magulang samantalahin po natin get yeah, all the chance na i-express yung love sa mga mo ka andyan pa si ate ni Lau ay si ate baby li mag ano magshare si ate baby Good evening. Good evening po. Uh, parang good evening everyone. Ano? Parang ayoko kasing matapos itong session natin na hindi ako makakapagsalita. <laughs> so actually kanina bago pa ahya si Tanta akong mag-attend nga. No? Na, dahil masya na uh, pagod. So ganun. So pero sabi ko bakit kaya dinala rin ako dito. So parang nagiging emotional yung ating ano na ayoko mm. namang emotional tayo lahat ano but up sa akin for me basta mama Mary basta mama Mary talagang hindi ko siya palalampasin kasi ma- as ang, ang 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 aking nanay ito lang mal- mal- maliit lang ang sasabihin ko ang ma- maigsi lang ang sasabihin ko nakita ko ang 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 image ni mama Mary nung ang aking ina ay nag-aagaw buhay nasa tabi niya ako nasa tabi niya ako sabi niya ng, ng, ng nanay ko dahil meron akong bunsong kapatid na talaga namang pasaway at saka siya na lang ang talagang wala sabi na lang huwag ninyong pababayaan huwag ninyong pababayaan ang kapatid niyong bunso so yun lang talagang hanggang sa ngayon ang pagka ang pagka ang pag nakita ko sa nanay ko ang ang talagang ang ang hirap ng 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 ang hirap ng ng ina na bilang mama Mary na nasabi na niyo na, nasabi niya huwag ninyong pababayan ang inyong kapatid at ako din naman iyon din ang natutunan ko sa nanay ko sa nanay ko na gagawin ko rin sa mga anak ko thank you wow thank you for the sharing at that emo- that aside emotional from- lang emotional lang tayo sorry Yeah. Aside from Ate Christine and Ate Moka, sino pa ko kaya dito sa atin ngayon ang uh, nabubuhay pa ang mga nanay niyan? Meron pa po ba? Aside from Ate Christine and Ate Moka. Sino pa po ang buhay pa po ang mother ninyo? Pakita sa kamay ka mo. Mm-mm. Naku, napakaswerte niyo, Ate Moka. Swerte nila. Kayo dalawa. <laughs> bonus na bonus po sa akin, pati Lola po. <laughs> Oo, talaga. <laughs> right, right. Okay, si Kuya Dinky, nakataas ang kamay. Kuya Dinky? Uh, uh, ano po, yung, na, yung sinabi ni Ate Dan kanina, yung, yung mother daw, ano, ano yun, kakainin na lang, ibibigay, susubo na lang, ibibigay pa sa anak. Kita-kita uh-huh. nila pa kung gano'n kalab ng nanay ko, katawan pa lang. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko na nga ba may baon si Kuya Dinky. <laughs> right, right. Uh, that's a, that's a good break. That's a good break before everyone gets emotional. Right. Yeah, no, ang uh, we cannot we cannot help but be emotional uh with our sharings, no. And you will notice from our sharings and from our small group discussions It's really all about what Mary or who Mary is to us, uh, what Mary is doing for us, and uh, what Mary is doing to us. No? Kaya if, if you will go back to our discussion uh, guide question, uh, how does recognizing that Mary is the queen mother of her son's kingdom change our understanding of how we can relate to her? Uh, ako naman, para bagang, not for anything else, but uh, I thought, I, I kind of thought, or I kind of thought differently na para bagang, okay, we appreciate anything and everything that Mary is doing for us. But the question is, what are we doing for Mary? No? Uh, we have often taken her for granted. Uh, ako, I must admit, while I miss my mom so much, But uh, there was a point in time I was taking her for granted. 
no? Uh, kasi nandiyan siya eh, di ba? And that is what mothers are for, no? But only to realize later on nung wala na siya uh, how much she really means and then how much you look for her. Now in the same token, si Mama Mary, this came to my mind kasi we have uh, two other prayer groups that are composed of uh, some uh, non-denominational, uh, some non-Catholics, no? So magkakaiba, magkakaibang pinanggagalingan namin during our Bible study. And sometimes, uh, without them knowing it, they they kind of throw stones and Mama Mary's getting hit, no? And in those moments, parang I cannot keep it to myself na uh, I don't know if it is instinctive, pero uh, I don't want to be defensive, but I cannot just let it pass. And nagigets nyo, no? And now I realize na uh, now that I realize more na I am dealing pala with the Queen Mother no, uh, of our Lord. So talagang uh, not only na instinctively, but uh, really parang I ought to defend her uh, if I were to defend my own mother. no, Parang ganun. Ayun. So uh, our prayer for this evening, sana uh, realizing who Ma Mama Mary is, being the Queen Mother, uh, being the crowned mother, all right, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sabi nga nyo kanina, uh, kung si Jesus ay kuya natin, ika nga, hindi tayo lahat ay magkakapatid. At kung tayo lahat ay magkakapatid, ang ina ni Jesus, ay eh, ina rin natin. No? Kaya ang ating, ating awit ay Mariang Inako. No? And together with that, my, my hope and prayer is that sana as we go through our journey through the scripture on the Bible and the Virgin Mary, Sana mas lalong umalab yung ating pag-ibig kay Mama Mary, no? Uh, the way we the, we deal with her, the way we treat her, uh, really, I mean, no one can surpass her being a mother. Uh, not to mention, hindi baka talakay natin sa next session, not to mention that because she was also conceived immaculately, all right, she never went wrong in her decisions as a mother. No, kung yung mga nanay natin sa kanilang uh, pagmamahal sa atin, kumisa nagkakamali, pero si Inang Maria, not even once na nagkamali siya. No, sa pag-atupag sa pag -atupag niya sa kanyang anak na si Jesus, at lalo't lalo na sa pag-aaruga niya sa atin lahat na kanyang anak din. So that's my hope and prayer. And in our, our sessions will even intensify our devotions to Mary more and more. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. Oma, are you ready for your closing prayer? Uh, closing prayer na ba? Okay. Yep. Sige. Let us again remember that we are in the holy presence of God and also in the holy presence of Mama Mary, our Queen Mother. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions, in our necessities, please deliver us from all dangers. O ever glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make His face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon us and give us peace. May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us all, now and for always. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was at the beginning, beginning as now, and ever Lord, shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. Amen and Amen. All right. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Ate Christine, yung iyong group picture, baka makalimutan. Hey, Ate Christine. Pa-open po ng mga cameras na lahat. Kuya Dinky, pa-open po ng camera, Ate Crony. Ayan. Ay, nawala si Ate Aleta. Oo nga. Hindi pa rin. Ayun. Ayun, ayun, yun, yun. Smile in three, two, one. Smile everyone. Yeah. Okay na po. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Kami salamat po sa inyong lahat. Pagpaumanhin sa mga bosses namin. Have a good night and have a good weekend. Ako rin po, Kuya. 
Okay. Ay, at Aleta, hello yes. po. Na-miss ka namin. Yes po. Uh, Oo, oh, oh, pasensya <laughs> na po. Oh. Okay. Thank, Thank you po. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. Thank you. 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 Thank